thanks everybody for joining today. Hello to you all. Good morning or good afternoon as the case may be. So we're going to talk today about how financial services can benefit from inorganic intelligence. And this is based on a report that was put out uh, in July, one of our more popular reports. We're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to do it pretty quickly. There's a lot of material to cover. Uh, but you can see this report uh, and review it uh, for our customers online uh, after the fact. You can download it anytime. I call this inorganic intelligence. And you're probably wondering, some of you who may not have read the report, what do I mean by inorganic intelligence? Why on earth? What, what am I talking about here? Now, we've all heard of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, though, has been around 60 years. And actually, in that time, there have been a number of technologies that have come, come along, building on it, things like distributed networking, natural language processing, cognitive computing, everybody's favorite these days, machine learning. And when taken together, all these technology components form the roots of what we term inorganic intelligence. And in financial services, there are a wealth of use cases with lots of difficult problems that are hard to solve. You can't just throw people at them that are really good use cases for applying inorganic intelligence.